Of course, the, the fakies, the fake news awards, might be the last thing this government ever does, because we could be just a little more than 24 hours away from the government shutting down. Now, it's hard to know who's to blame. Is it the Republican majority who hates government or the Democratic minority who don't? Six of one, we refuse to fund the half dozen other. There's no way. There was one last-ditch effort to find a bipartisan solution. Republicans offered Democrats six years of funding for the Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP. But as part of the deal, they included getting rid of a bunch of taxes that pay for Obamacare. Nancy Pelosi wasn't impressed. As I said to you, this is, a, this is like giving you a um, um, bowl of doggy do, put a cherry on top, and call it a chocolate sundae. Or as Donald Trump described it, the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> you gotta oh, gotta try it at Mar-a-Lago. Sounds nice. Oh, that Mar-a-Lago. The deal still might have gone through, but Donald Trump snatched defeat from the jaws of helping children, tweeting, "Chip should be part of a long-term solution, not a 30-day or short-term extension." leading Lindsey Graham to say, we don't have a reliable partner at the White House. <laughs> or that could have been Melania. Either way, <laughs> they're both pretty upset. And one GOP source described the Trump White House as the most feckless bunch of boobs I've ever encountered. <laughs> yeah, that's actually what the physician said about Trump's chest X-ray. <laughs> Perfectly healthy, though. <laughs> Perfectly. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, what ah. does a man have to do for a rim shot? And remember, I can say rim shot on CBS, right? <laughs> so, okay. And remember, it's not just Chip the president torpedoed. He already threw all hope of compromise on DACA into the hole. So yesterday, White House chief of staff and shop teacher telling you to quit horsing around with that buzzsaw, <laughs> John Kelly met with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus to try to smooth things over on immigration, though he may not have been the best choice to talk to the Hispanic Caucus, considering that Kelly once considered separating immigrant parents from their accompanying children, a move that led the New York Times to call him the deacon of deportation. In this corner, the deacon of deportation, the sultan of SWAT teams, John the ice team cometh Kelly. And, uh, no, that's right. and, and at the meeting, General Kelly said that when Trump campaigned on building the wall, his promises were, in fact, not fully informed, which is a very optimistic way of saying fully of crap. <laughs> which, I gotta say, is the sort of thing the president usually finds insulting and then lashes out. But this time, he chose to be the bigger man. Stay focused on bringing all sides together and remain silent. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. He tweeted, the wall is the wall. <laughs> yeah, he knows that because it was on his cognitive test. <laughs> What's that? Yes. The wall is the wall and that's a rhinoceros. It's like a wall with a pokey nose. <laughs> Can I have my cookie now? <laughs> but the president tweeted on, it has never changed or evolved from the first day I conceived of it. He's right. The wall promise is just as real now as the day he yanked it out of his keister. <laughs> and he continued to continue, parts will be of necessity see-through, and it was never intended to be built in areas where there is natural protection, such as mountains, wetlands, or tough rivers. <laughs> I believe Tough Rivers was a frequent co-star of Stormy Daniels. <laughs> yes. First it'd be Stormy, and then Tough. Thank you. Thank you. Peabody, please. And there was more. 
the world would be paid for directly or indirectly or through longer term reimbursement by Mexico, which has a ridiculous $71 billion trade surplus with the US. The $20 billion wall is peanuts compared to what Mexico makes from the US. NAFTA is a bad joke. No, Mr. President, this is a bad joke. How many Donald Trumps does it take to screw in a light bulb? We'll never know, because after he screws something, he gives it $130,000 not to tell anybody. <laughs> and... <laughs> Thank you. I like you. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's nice. There you go. And... Finally! 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 Finally, he laid down the law. If there is no wall, there is no deal. Yep, it's all described in his best-selling book, The Art of the No Wall. <laughs> the inability to reach a deal in D.C. is increasingly infuriating, especially to Louisiana Senator and male lipstick model John <laughs> Kennedy. See, Kennedy's concerned that Congress's failure to come together is having unforeseen consequences. That stuff's the reason the aliens won't talk to us. You know, they look at us and they go, God, this is the United States Congress. Okay. <laughs> and even if they did talk to us, how would that go? Take me to your leader. Actually, guys, how about we bring our leader to you and then you take him wherever you want? <laughs> That'd be good for us. Just, pro just probe away. Just, just get in there. We have a great show for you tonight. Sharon Stone is here, but when we return, I put on a big furry hat. Stick around. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.